Hello, I'm going to share some yoga practice today and things you would like to potentially have if you have them um, are a couple of yoga blocks, kind of foam or, or more solid ones, um, a yoga belt or a long scarf, and perhaps a folded blanket or a cushion, something to sit on. And there's a fact that the energies we have always um, communicating with one another and informing our world are there's energies of creation, energies of preservation, and energies of destruction. And we can move through feeling all of those various energies in any given day. And we can choose to anchor uh, and, and focus on one or the other, um, or one of, of the trinity of these energies, and broaden our vision of what that means for us. And they're all really valuable energies and none, none of them good or bad. So today I'm gonna to share a um, breath practice that is an inspiratory muscle training type of practice that really allows you to um, strengthen your respiratory system, obviously. It's a muscle, our diaphragm is a big muscle that as we inhale drops down and massages our abdominal organs and as we exhale it flows back up. And for most people, this is a muscle that is not worked out. You think of working out your biceps, um, your lats, uh, your thighs, your quads, running, doing active physical things, but we don't think about our internal organs so much as what's on the outside. So when we come into working with this um, inspiratory muscle training, looks like my cat might be going to join us. Um, I want you to consider the preservation aspect that you are bringing in. This energy of preserving your vital life force through the breath. Our breath is what connects the body and the mind. And uh, the breath is what will help these internal organs become massaged and stay healthy and help us to eliminate and uh, get rid of waste toxins and they are the number one uh, contributors to chronic inflammation which um, a good percent of our world population battles with and is the the um, the main cause of of disease and when we have disease in the body we are more susceptible to things like viruses and um, to overall poor health and none of us want that right we, we want health so the more you can connect with your breath and connect with breath and movement through a practice like yoga, the more you can really take care of this vessel that is your body. So today we look at that sense of I'm preserving, I'm preserving this body. So this practice will be accessible. It's not going to be excessively vigorous. It's not going to not challenge you either. Um, it's just what's coming to me for my practice this morning. So I'm happy to share and um, looks like Little wants to share as well. This is this is Harley. Um, I forgot to put you in the other room. So if you've got props, great. If not, no worries. Let's have a seat. You can kneel or sit on your cushion. We'll move right into that breath practice. So you're simply going to take um, whatever fingers are comfortable and gently close off right at the base of the bone, bony part on the nose. And you're not closing it off completely, you're not pinching it off. And I actually like to use my ring finger and my thumb. So you're just gently closing that off, okay? And, that, and then we're gonna breathe in and out like that. But first I want you to take a nice inhale without any constriction, inhaling through the nose. And sending that out the open mouth, releasing the heat. And find two more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And just 
just let go of tension, let go of expectations, and be here in this moment now. So you can gaze down to your nose, take the right hand and just gently pinch off, lightly pinch the, the nostrils on either side. Option with the left hand to take the ring finger and the uh, middle finger to your thumb, a downward current of energy engaged with that. So with that light pinch to the nostrils and the chin neutral, spine long, seat grounded, we inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. I'm going to do this 10 times. So continue, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. So as you're on round three now, really feel your inhalation, how you can feel that diaphragm, that big muscle descending and on your exhalation, the toning upward of that muscle. So keeping it going round four. more. Unless this is becoming uncomfortable for you, keep it going. Two rounds, really focusing on feeling the movement of your diaphragm. You empty out your last exhalation, release the right hand, take a moment to allow the breath to freely flow through both nostrils. Notice if you feel some other movement through the body, other expansion that perhaps was not available with your first three breaths. Just with the easy jaw, relaxed tongue, allow your breath to flow in and out of your nose. And this is how we'll practice with our yoga this morning or today, whenever you're practicing this. Um, and if you know the ujjayi pranayama, you can practice with ujjayi. Otherwise, just allow the breath to flow easily in through the nose and out through the nose. So we're going to go ahead and come right to standing. So if you're on the support, you can take it out to the side. We're going to go ahead and come right to using the strap as well. Slide this back so that you can see more of my mat. So open up your strap or your scarf or whatever you're working with. Take it a little wider than um, your shoulders apart. Take your feet parallel, hips width distance apart. So inhale, sweeping the arms up. 
if you can't see the strap for me, I'll step back and maybe you can see it. But just, it's right straight overhead and I'm stretching it out through the hands, pulling the fabric. And I'm noticing that my pelvis is neutral, right? There's a tendency to let your bottom come out and dip the pelvis forward or over tuck, but I'm gonna gently squeeze my thighs towards one another, draw the femurs back, spread the mat between my feet and feel that my pelvis is neutral and this is drawing my navel in. Breath is full and deep. Two more breaths here. Feel that expansion across your chest. Now we begin to slide the hands across the strap and open up towards the back. Feeling that stretch across the chest. It's a pretty big stretch for our first movement. So just be with the sensations there. Notice if you're locking your knees, there's also a tendency to sometimes do that. I, I fall into that myself sometimes. And then keep your gaze forward, your chin neutral. A few more breaths here. Just finding where you can find your maximum awareness into the stretch you're feeling. And then slowly bring the strap down. And then roll the shoulders up and back. Bring the strap back to the front. So we'll take it up again. This time not taking quite so long. And then just gently, this time actually, let's bend the elbows like we're doing a lap pull. Shoulders down the back and then stretch it up. You might want to shorten it a little bit to do that. And then pull down. Really nice opening for the chest. Work with the shoulders. So much forward head, forward shoulders with our modern world and our electronic devices. And it's really good to open the space up. Take one more, stretch it up. You can imagine you've got that weight from a, a lap pull and pull it back down. And then go ahead and stretch it out and bring it all the way back down to your seat. And another shoulder roll. All right, you can place the strap off to the side. We'll probably come back to using that. So coming to Tadasana, stepping to the top of your mat, your feet can stay that hips width distance apart or you can bring your toes together, heels slightly apart, if you are familiar with that. So hands alongside the body, fingertips moving towards the earth, spine nice and long, you're aligned, you're breathing in, breathing out, Tadasana Mountain Pose. And notice that you might have your chin high, your, your neck could be cranked back, or you could have your chin tucked really low, Find neutral with the chin, and you can even take your fingertips underneath your chin and draw like a circle, a half circle, like a smile. And that'll gently pull the jaw in and lift up through the neck a little more, and then you'll feel a little bit taller. It's uh, engaging with our hyoid bone. There, define the posture. Uh, so just feel like how you can breathe in and breathe out through your nose. Notice if you can feel your diaphragm here. You can feel the expansion and the contraction of the rib cage, the descent of the diaphragm on the in-breath and the contraction on the out-breath. And then on the next inhale, sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, fold forward, soften the knees. And take a little half salute here. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins. Exhale, fold. Salute to the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, the hands down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slide up the shins. Exhale, fold. Salute to the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, down. Shrug the shoulders to the ears. Melt them down the back. 
few more times like that. All right, so we're going to take our left foot forward, the right foot back, taking a warrior one stance, pressing down through the um, front foot, left knee over the ankle, inhale, sweep your arms up, we're going to press down through that outer heel, your back foot is internally rotated, or back leg is internally rotated slightly, toes, pigeon toe towards the front of the mat. The bright hands reach up towards the sky, the ceiling, inhale here, and exhale, straighten the front leg, press the palms back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, press back. So left pit of the belly pulls back. Inhale up. Exhale up, left hip draws back. Straighten my front leg. Inhale up. Exhale, press it back. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, press back. Press the palms away. Draw the shoulders down the back. Keep that length through the neck. Drawing in on the belly. Breath full and deep. And then see if you can reach for your elbows, perhaps. That may or may not be accessible. If not, you can take your hands to your hips and notice if the hips are square. Are they facing the front of the mat? And they could be a little off. That's all right. Just notice where they are in space. Yoga is a practice of deepening our awareness. One more breath here. Then re-bend the front knee. Feel that strength in your left quad. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms to touch now. And we'll open up the arms. So left arm comes forward, right arm back. And you just slide your right foot back a little bit more. Now finding warrior two shape here. So we'll inhale, extend the left leg. And then reach out, finding a little triangle. So your hand, your left hand can come anywhere down along that left leg. It certainly does not need to reach the floor. And that right arm will reach it up first. Extend through the fingertips and open up across the chest. And then tuck it to your low back. So you're like you're putting the back side of your hand into your back pocket and then peel that right shoulder up. Turn the gaze down to the front big toe. And again, drop the chin, pull your left shoulder back and down. As the chin drops down, you lengthen through the neck like the crown's got a little guidance, a golden string on it, drawing it to keep your spine nice and long. And then slowly turn the chin and gaze back up to the ceiling. If that works for your neck, it may be tight, so you can keep the gaze down if so. Take one more breath here, open the right side of the chest towards the ceiling. One more breath. Now inhale, sweep the right arm up. Palms spread, really energize through the hands, press through the feet, rise up. Pull the left toes up, center of the foot. Draw the hands to the hips. Inhale to lengthen here, and then exhale to fold forward. So wide-legged forward fold. Your knees may be soft. Relax the head. Draw your hands to your hips and rise up. And you turn the right foot out, the left toes in. And take that shorter stance to come into warrior one for So I'm turning that left hip in, just slightly drawing the left foot forward, bending into the right knee. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. And exhale, straighten the leg, palms press back. So keep the heart open with this. Inhale up. And exhale, press back. Inhale. Exhale, press back. We allow the breath to guide the movement.
strength in the right quad, pulling that right hip back, press the palms back behind you, spread the fingers. As my head is up, so it's free. And then reach back to grasp the elbows if that's available. And just keep the chest away from the shoulders moving down the back, or hands to the hips, and just feeling the squareness of your hips here in the space. And a deep breath. back to bending the right knee, sweep the arms overhead, and then we'll open the right arm forward, the left arm back, you can scoot that left foot back a bit, and then straightening out the right leg, reach out to come down and find your little triangle on this side, again, it doesn't have to be a big posture, if you're hinging at your hips, which I tend to do a little bit on this side, so I'm keeping up a little bit higher on the, on the leg, Mindful, you don't want to put your hand on your knee and crank into that joint. You keep it safe. And as you turn the gaze down, take the back of the hand to the lower back. Feel that left shoulder open. Find some deep breath here. So the back of the hand is actually energizing into the left hip, pressing into the left hip, and the left hip can press into the hand to help open up and facilitate expansion on the left side body here. And then trying the chin back to the ceiling if you took it down, and extending up through the left arm. Right hands, inhale, reach up. Bending into that right knee, coming back to a warrior two, just for a moment. And then straighten the right leg, we'll pull the right toes up, and then inch or heel toe the feet in for a balance pose. This is just a little mini practice that I'm sharing. So we'll take a balance and, and a twist, and then come to um, back bend and relaxation. We're going to root through the left foot, so your tree could be low here with your right foot on the ankle come below the knee or even above the knee. Hands move to the heart center or wherever you'd like them to be. So you could inhale and lift the arms up, separate the hands, maybe even take goal post, goddess arms, and find a neutral pelvis here as well. So there's a little pressure of the foot into the thigh and a dropping of the back body and we're reaching forward with the front body very slightly as you lengthen through the crown. And you might be swaying, and that's all right. You can even let your arms sway with that. And if the sways come in, then you can catch one and take it into a side bend. You could try releasing that right hand down, left arm over and across. And breathe. And coming back to the center, turn the hands back to the heart if you lifted them. Knee comes to the front, extend it out, and let that go. And shake it out, get your massage, shake the hips, and we'll stretch or root down through the right side. Take a low, middle, or high variation of your tree. wobbly side. I'm fortunate to be able to stand on this foot at all. I've got only half a right big toe and I'm grateful, so grateful for the toe repair that I had. And any weeble wobblies here are beautiful. So we inhale, lift the arms up. If you took that on the other side, if you caught a little bit of your sway and took it into a side bend, allow that. Ooh. <laughs> and if you do that, just smile like, hell yeah, I, I was in a balance and I got the opportunity to fall out 
and I get the opportunity to come back in and that's just like life. We are always ebbing and flowing between the changes, moving through that creation, preservation, destruction, all the time. Coming back, honoring the breath as we return back, hands to heart. And draw the knee to the front, extend it out, and let it go. So let's inhale, sweep your arms out and up, big circle. Exhale, take your seat back, sit back into Utkatasana, the chair. So here, my legs are close together, that's one option, or the feet can be separated hips width, your choice. Now let the weight really come back, make this kind of like a super duper Utkatasana, and we're gonna let our chest come forward. So reaching forward with the hands, taking the seat way back, feeling the strength here. Feel your quads, feel your hips. Inhale, reach through the fingertips like you're reaching towards the screen, and then bend the elbows, shoulders down the back, keeping that heart space open. Reaching through the crown. Inhale, come forward. And if this is too much, you can sustain a regular Okatasana and really get the benefit there. Two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, bend hollow in the belly. Two more. Last one. And we'll take that into a forward fold. Release the head, take a little yes and no with the head. Knees can still be soft here in the forward fold. This is not, not a full practice. We haven't done a whole lot, so honor any, anything that needs just to stay soft, just keep the joint safe. And one more breath here. And we're simply gonna come down into a squat. So if you need a support under you for that, you should take your blanket and you can place it under your heels find a little support there um, and if it's not accessible you can come all the way to the floor you can also sit on a, a larger cushion or a couch cushion or a bolster and so just playing with finding perhaps a squat on the balls of your feet and maybe your hands to the heart pressing up through the crown there we go the strength in the feet and the ankles Notice if you're holding your breath, you can find an ease to your breath. And then we'll release all the way to the floor. Extend the legs in front. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And again, if your pelvis is way back, please sit on the edge of your blanket. I'll demonstrate that, sitting up on the edge so that it helps to tilt the pelvis forward. We'll inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, come forward. You can also bring your strap in here. Place the strap around the balls of the feet. And keep the heart open as much as is available. Shoulders moving down the back. And breathe into the back of the legs. So opening up your hamstrings, down the knees. The calves. And as much as you can, let this depth of the posture evolve by your breath. That energy of preservation. Lean into that rather than trying to create it into something else that it's not ready to be. So the shape is, is holding the container of you and your breath is what will allow it to deepen. Pulling, forcing, wanting to look a certain way or have your face on your thighs, your knees, that's just, um, that's just ego. So we let go of that and we find some humility. There was a time in my practice where I was um, always coming all the way down, just right away to my, to my shins. That's been about a decade ago. 
So um, this is where I am now, and I honor that. I chew my breath. Inhale, rise up. Come on off your support if you're working with that. And we'll take, um, we'll come to the back, all the way to the back. Find your, your block if you've got one. We'll do two variations with bridge with the block. Um, so take first the block between your thighs. Take a nice squeeze of the block. We'll take a little active bridge here. So soles of the feet are parallel. Press into the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Squeeze the block. And exhale, lower back down. So squeezing the block helps engage the inner thighs towards one another. Adducting the thighs. And three more like this. In breath lifts the hips and the arms simultaneously. Out breath, they lower simultaneously. Last one. Press through those feet. Lift the hips. Lift the arms overhead. Root down through the feet. Keep the squeeze of the block. Elbows can soften here and open up to goddess shape with the, the arms. If my head's dropped off again. Um, and feel how that shape, shape change happens in the, the shoulder blades. Chin gently lifted away from the chest here. One more breath. And lower it back down. And release. Take a nice rock forward. So tilt your pelvis forward. Move the lumbar away from the mat. So I, I've stuck my left hand under my lumbar. I can feel the space there. That's a forward tilt of the um, pelvis anterior tilt. And then posteriorly tilt. We release it back down and even can rock it up with the pelvis pubic bone coming forward and then release back down. So find a breath here in the middle. And let that one move into your belly. And we'll root through the feet. Lift up and just find support with the, the block under your sacrum. So that's a big flat bone that connects the, the back to the lower body. Now we really want to come into some nice breaths here. You can make a triangle with the hand on your lower pelvis. And just breathe into that. easy can it be just to connect with your breath and stay present recognizing how this beautiful breath is preserving all that you are preserving your energy your strength your capacity to focus the breath is a barometer we can always check in with it throughout the day and notice our relationship to the breath and notice our relationship to the environment and the world around us. And shift the breath and shift our consciousness. So from here, I invite you to extend the legs straight up, taking the support of the block. Hands can stay on the body or you can open out to the side. And if it's too much to be on the block, you could always do this with the hips grounded. And a little bit of circling through the ankles, wake up those joints, wiggle the toes. Do a little dance with the feet. And 
and then she's in the point of toes, fully. Roll through the balls of the feet to flex. And two more times like that. Point the foot and we flex and point and flex. One more breath. So good, important to get some inverting here. And we'll bend the knees, take the soles of the feet to the mat, lift the hips, slide that block out. And coming into a twist to complete our short little time together here. Draw the knees to the chest, rock and roll on the low back. Let the squeeze in. Shift the hips to the left, holding on to the knees here. I'm gonna drop both knees to the right and open my left arm to the left, my right arm to the right, so a nice T with the arm. It could be that the, your top knee needs um, um, support of a block in between. So you can put the block between the thighs and gently turn the head to the left. Several relaxing breaths here. Full breath here. And head comes back to the center. Draw the knees to the chest. You can squeeze them in again. And then we lift the hips. Take them to the right. Drop the hips. The, excuse me, the knees to the left. a little bit more. Um, yeah, and so you may or may not want the block on the side between the legs. Peel the, scoop the left shoulder out, the right shoulder to the floor, and turn our gaze to the right. Noticing if it's easy for you to twist, or if there's some restriction along the back body, or even into the hip. Twisting's very important. We really didn't do uh, much twisting in the earlier movements, so we're gonna linger a little bit longer. Really appreciate the capacity of our body to, to twist, the spine to twist, and the release that's afforded by twisting here. Really good for the digestive system and just the capacity to eliminate, really. Last full breath in your twist. Come back to the center, hug your knees in one more time, and then check in with your body. I'm not really going to guide much more. Um, if there's any way that you feel like your body's really asking for you to move now, you can, you can move that way. I'm just going to squeeze my knees in and draw my chin to my knees and release back down for a little hug, and then find Shavasana, relax the legs out. And the arms open and then let go here. So 
take as much time as you can in this most important of the asanas, Shavasana, allowing the eyes to gently close if that is comfortable for you. If not, they can just gaze softly down there. There's a little tuck of the shoulders and natural release of the legs from the thighs. And the palms face up. And stretch and open your mouth wide. And relax your jaw real slow. And just let a sense of calm move over the body. Feeling calm. take longer in your shavasana if you have that. Go ahead and return to a few deeper breaths and go ahead and come back. And you can roll to the side or kind of rock up to come back to a seat. And wherever you are in your day, May you be filled with gratitude for all that you are and the sense of preservation in the breath, connecting the body and the mind. I wish you much peace. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thanks for checking out the video and practicing. The world needs it.